Hello guys, happy Sunday. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Um, welcome back to another video with me and Liv. Um, before we get into it, I'll let you say hello to Olivia and then we can get into the video. We're doing a makeup vid on like really cheap makeup from the shop called Shop Miss A. I don't know if anyone's heard of it because I hadn't heard of it until like a couple of months ago. And basically, they just do really cheap makeup. The It did come from the US, so I did have to pay customs when it got here, which was £13, I think. Oh, what is that? Anyway, that's not their fault. That's not their fault. And also, it did take about a month and a half to come. And it said it was going to take like 7 to 28 days, but it took a lot longer. I have got a jumper on, by the way. It's just low down. Um... So yeah, I thought I'd quickly say how they're so cheap because obviously the fact that they're so cheap like usually means that you're not going to trust them that much, especially because it's not like it's not even like drugstore prices. It's literally like pences, um, and they've got it on the website and it says how we do it. And it says beauty manufacturers make specific items for Shop Miss A, and then Shop Miss A don't spend any money on marketing, advertising, which means they can keep the markup as low as possible. Um, and also, like, all other makeup brands spend, it says so they spend millions on TV, magazine ads, marketing branding, retail stores, and they don't have any of this, which is why they can be so cheap. However, me and Liv are here to find out whether that's a lie and whether they're just, like, crap, or whether they're really good. But obviously we're going to be honest, because... Obviously, like, would we wear it when we're not on the video is a big question. So, let's get into the video. Me and I have both got exactly the same makeup products. And um, we've bought the exact same makeup, like, face. So, I'm going to be using it. Liz's going to be using it. You can see both. Because we've both got different skin types, different opinions. So, you can see both of them. It's not going to be too long of a video. We will make it short. Don't worry. Um, so, yeah, let's get into the vid. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Charlotte's already introduced the video. I'm looking like a boy. Um, I've just got my hair in a plait, so because I know it's a kind of a get ready with me, but I can't bother to straighten my hair or anything, so I'm just gonna have some nice waves. I am going to just use my own moisturizer because I just like moisturizer, and we obviously don't have one from oh, that brand. So she bought some brushes as well, um, and I think the ones when we did the um, what was it called? The, gift, the care package video I think the brushes Charlotte got me might have been from here because she dropped like this when I picked she bought this and she gave me let's find an example this I oh, know maybe not maybe not actually they just look similar however she doesn't have a brush for everything so I will be using oh my god look at the state uh, I will be using some of my own brushes as well but obviously I'll tell you when they're mine and when they're the brand's. See, I really hope I like all this stuff. Then I will buy it. Because as you probably saw in the makeup collection video, um, I don't have very, like, I have like NARS and the Armani foundation, but I don't have a lot of expensive stuff just because I've already said I don't want to waste my money on makeup that I'm going to wear not a lot. So let's get started. Okay, so I've cleansed and toned and moisturised, so I've got, it's got a fair, a fair base to go off. Um, the first thing I'm going to be using is the No Pore Face Primer, which to be fair is quite a decent size. Um, it's lightweight, non-sticky, and this was the special $1.88 edition, it says. Um, it's a matte finish, and it locks in makeup. Wow. I don't personally usually like a matte finish, but... We'll see. Okay, so do I apply this with my hand? I think I'm gonna go in the hand. Oh, it's like a clear gel. Okay. I'll be interested to see like what me and Liv both have to say about them. Cause like, what if I'm like, oh my god, I love it, and Liv's like, ew. Okay, so it's going on nice. It feels quite thick. Obviously, I can't really judge a primer on how it works until, like, later on. So, what I picked up from my brows was a Sculpting Brow Pencil from 
on the Shop Marseille website they've got like a AOA studio brand and I think all of it is from that brand. Yeah, it's all like AOA studio. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So I've got like a, it's called a brow sculpt pencil. And one end it's like a spoolie. And one end it's like... You see that? It, um, well, the only thing I'm worried about is it's quite thick. So I don't really know how I'm going to draw them on, but let's, let's have a go at this. I'd definitely say it's buildable coverage, um, which is good because you don't want it to be like too much. Um, it's quite nice. I've not really got anything bad to say about it. I um, quite like it. Okay, I'll just do the other brow off camera. Okay, so the brows are done. One thing I would say if I was going to be picky, but I feel like I need to be picky throughout this video, is I had it up to about here. Can you see that? And by the time I'd done both brows, it was like, I had to like rewind it up again. But that, it was literally like pound eighty. Like I'm not, I'm not going to hate because of that. So again, sticking with the brows, I got a brow fibre gel, which I'm so excited about. I don't really know what this is. Um, it's in the shade dark brown. It's quite like mini and tiny. It's not like a gel, it's literally fibres, which I don't really understand. Maybe it's just to make my brows thicker. But like the brush is like, like I'm rubbing the brush on my hand and hardly anything's happening, but. Okay, nothing's really happening with that. <laughs> like literally the tiniest thing's happening. I don't know if it's dried up or what. But if it's fibres, then no, it wouldn't have that. So I'm gonna start off with the No Pore Face Primer. So I'm just gonna put some on my nose. Charlotte once said in a video and it really kind of frustrated me. I might be wrong though, she might be right. But she was putting it here, she was like, I'm just going to put it on my T-zone. I was like, that's not your T-zone. Well, if she's right, please tell me because I thought she was wrong. I'm sure your T-zone's here because it's too. I'm going to put some on my T-zone. Sorry, I'm using my fingers. Uh, do you use a brush or anything for primer? I don't know. I don't know where else you meant to put primer. I'm not really a pro at makeup, hence why Charlotte's done all the makeup tutorials and I've done none. Okay, now for a bit of more of an exciting bit, the foundation. Um, I've also got a beauty blender which I've already wetted. I've already wet. Yeah, I've already, anyway. Um, and it went quite big, to be fair, which is always a good sign for a beauty blender. Um, the foundation is the Pro Wear Full Coverage Foundation, which is a big statement. So I, I shall be seeing if it's full coverage. Because I think full coverage isn't like, yeah, if you put four layers on, then it covers your whole face. It needs to be like, if I put like a decent one layer on, that should cover like me well. It says to shake well. Ooh. I'll do this then. Okay. It's like a little... I've got them back of my hand. Oh, wow, I like this. It feels thick. Oh. So, foundation wise, I've put one, literally one layer on, and I wouldn't say it was full. Like, I can still see a bit of freckles, which I'm not complaining about, I like freckles. This is the kind of foundation, I feel like I say this a lot, but this is the kind of foundation that I'd wear to work. You know, where like I want to be covered, but I don't want to be like caked in makeup. And obviously it's cheap, so I can wear it for work. I would reach for this. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put another layer on and see if it, like, becomes full. I completely forgot to say the best thing about this brand it's all animal cruelty free it says it on the back that there's like a paw paw collection and it's all from like it's they donate like to animal charities got like anything you buy from this paw paw collection goes to that charity which is amazing that's my favorite thing ever i've put another layer on i'd say it is buildable but i still wouldn't even call this full coverage um, but anyway, 
I really do like it. I think it's giving me like a nice base. I feel like I look fresh. Like because it was so cheap, I was expecting it to be like clear and I don't know. Because it's giving me quite a nice shine. I'm not too matte. I'm not too dewy. Like it's just like a nice foundation for like all skin. I'll be interested to see if Liv says the same thing. I know some people do the eyebrows first and then foundation or eyeshadow first and then foundation. But I like to go straight in with the foundation. Okay, this is very not my colour. This is a beauty blender and oh, I should have brought mine down to compare and I love it. So I will probably definitely be buying this already. Because I only have one and I don't like using brushes for like foundation or concealer. Um so if I have more than one then I can use one for foundation, one for concealer because at the moment I'm a bit dirty and just using one for both, but that's upstairs. I'm scared I'm going to do this because I'm going to be like, well, she didn't like that, but I don't have to do it. So I do it like this, like this. I don't really, I'm going to test it on my hand. Just because I really don't know how it's going to come out. Oh, I thought it was going to be a bit runny. It's a bit, um, I didn't put a lot on, but right, let's just. <laughs> was that a lot? Should I use a brush? Did... No, I'm going to use this. It says it's full of. Oh my god. Me and Charlotte, obviously, because she's got darker skin, she uses um, a different colour to me anyway, so obviously she might have got this to suit her, so you might be watching and it suits her perfectly, but it doesn't really suit me. I like the um, the look of it though. I really do. Oh, I'm excited. And I'm really scared also that the um, camera's going to die because I forgot to charge it and I need to give the camera back to Charlotte tonight so she can edit and so it can go up tonight. Also, I um, got a skipping rope yesterday, love it, because I heard it's really good exercise. So I was doing that for a while yesterday and it was really fun. Okay, this is getting everywhere. I usually wear a headband but because I've got my hair like this I just haven't. I honestly really quite miss doing it with Charlotte. But but um, I've admitted it. I um, feel like um, uh, we're just. I'm just more comfortable doing it when um, um, I would never be able to do this on my own. It was Charlotte's idea to start a YouTube thing. She just messaged me one day. I don't know if we ever told you this. She just messaged me one day and she was like, um, "Do you want to start YouTube?" And I was like. Why not? To be fair, I think I probably said no at first, but I'm so glad that we've done it because I enjoy it so much. I love a good chat, so I feel like, sorry if I'm rambling. Um, what else was I going to say? I wonder what Charlotte's talking about. I don't know if I can have a normal conversation if, or, or if all of this has to be on uh, um, this makeup, but I'm loving just gonna blend it in everywhere at the foundation. I don't know how well you can see, but I love it. I haven't really put a lot on my nose, but then you can still see my freckles, which I love. Also, you can kind of see this helps that what it's like on kind of different skin, I guess. So me and Charlotte will obviously have different skin, so you can be like, oh, it looks better on Charlotte than Olivia. But so yeah, love this. I'm just gonna blend it out a bit more because I feel like I've not got it in places I should. How's everyone finding out now? Oh, I just wish it was over to be honest. Only, only because I'm just excited for all the videos we can do. I've been binge watching Sid and Elle and they've done so many fun videos that I want to do. Well, we both, me and Charlotte, want to do. Like uh, staying in the worst rated hotel in their city. I'd love to do that, but I'm kind of like a germ freak. So I'll probably start crying at some point, but that'll be really fun and funny to watch. So yeah, there's just loads of stuff that I'm excited to do. Next thing I'm going to use is an eye primer. Didn't get any eye today, I went like an idiot. But I'm going to use the bronzer. It looks like a concealer pot. Um, I don't know if there's shades. Oh yeah, I got it in the shade Glow. Wow. Wow. That would even just be quite a nice like eyeshadow. Nothing bad to say about that, that's gone on nicely. Um, 
nice colour, it's pretty. I guess the only thing, again, like with primers is, I can't really say a lot until I know how long it lasts. Um, so the bronzer, ow, the bronzer I'm going to be going in with as an eyeshadow is not by AOA, it's by Sante, Sante, you see that? Um, packaging wise, it looks quite cheap. I know it was cheap. I actually did buy an eyeshadow brush. Um, it's quite big. Like it's quite a big brush for my eyes, but anyway. Um, it's called a high def brush E101 um, AOA Studio again. The bronze is not like my usual bronze colour. It's got like red tones in there. Um, and it's got shimmers. Usually I just like a, like a warm or, I don't even know which is warm and which is cool, but you know what bronze I usually like. Um, but let's, I'm testing out the brush and the bronzer here, so let's just go in. Okay, it's giving me like a nice crease. Like, I've just put it in my crease, it's giving me quite a nice thing. Whatever you call it, I like that. I've had no fallout either. I didn't put concealer on purposely, in case I had fallen out. Yeah, I'm not upset with that. I'm going to put it, I'm going to do my concealer and then I'm going to put it under my eyes as well. So concealer wise, I'm excited for this because it's like fancy packaging. Um, and I got it in light ivory because I want it to brighten up my under eyes. Um, I'm going to use my Beauty Blender again with this. Again, it's like a serum, which I like. I'm just going to put it, oh, okay, that was squirted everywhere. Definitely not light, like that's come out like orange. Oh, it hasn't to be fair, I'm lying. I can't believe how good that is. I would genuinely use this. Let me see how much that was. Doesn't say on there. I will genuinely use this. I found a concealer that I really like. It was under two pounds, and it goes to charity for animals. Oh my goodness! Um, I'm gonna use that like all the highlighting spots as well. I think I'll conceal. I'm using the liquid concealer in light ivory yeah, that's it that's unusual isn't it so I have used that side of the sponge but I'm just going to use this side for this I really don't know how to use this mm, 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 oh, I don't like it oh. I'm, I'm just going to do one eye first because I always get scared that it's going to dry up I'm going to sit on my knee while I do this so you can still see whilst I'm looking in the mirror can you see also, I was watching a video back the other day, and um, my face is so lopsided. I, I don't know if you can tell, but one eyebrow is lower than the other, they're completely different shapes. One eye is like more like than the other, and my lips are... Was, <sighs> has that done anything? Kind of lightened it up, hasn't it? Do the same on this one. <gasps> okay, I've put a lot on, I might take a bit off. Put it here. I'm gonna try and use the um it's not a mirror, like the the screen on the camera where I can see myself to um do it so I'm kind of looking straight at you otherwise I'm like this. <sighs> so made a wish with an eyelash. Oh, I I just scratched myself and I kind of took some skin off. Can you see that? And put some on my chin. I'm no makeup artist. So I'm just going to go back in with that bronzer and do my under eye. Cute! I like that. Okay, then I'm just going to go in with the mascara, which is a LA Colours Drama... Dramaty Lash Volume Mascara in black again it's all it's quite mini like all this stuff's quite mini but 
I'd buy it again a million times for the price. Oh, I like the brush. How nice is that? I feel like this is going to do what it says it does. Done. Okay, so my eyes are done. Um, it's a pretty mascara. Again, I'd wear it for like work or the supermarket. I wouldn't accept this mascara. Ow, ow, ow. What next? What next? Do I do my contour and bronzer or my brows? I put my brows today. Um, right, I'm gonna contour. Um, I'm gonna use a brush that I already have. Let me find the one I've been using. This one, because it's kind of, so it's just good for, because it's on like an angle, so it's just good for, you know? If this goes wrong, I feel like everything will go wrong. See where my cheekbone is. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Right, let's just blend. No. Okay, it's kind of staying in a line. Is that... Oh! I can never see with it, because I don't know if it's like... Has that done something? Same with this side. I've got such chubby cheeks, I think. But I saw this thing where to like lose um, fat face, face fat face fat um to do like obviously i look a bit <laughs> weird but if it gets my face skinny then i don't care i'm scared to do it on my nose <laughs> so in fact no i don't want to jinx myself well i'll say it now um so far i'm giving i love everything I, don't, I believe in getting jinx, so I don't really want to do that. With the product that's hopefully left in here, I'm just going to do my jawline because I don't really want to do it with this in case it looks stupid. <laughs> Let's see what that is. We're going on my hip. Does that look nice? Does that look rubbish? You can't tell me. I feel like with the contour stick, I'm just bronzed already. Um, I'm going in with the... Sculpt Fix AOA Studio Contour Stick, which is really cute and tiny. Um, but yeah, this is in the shade Chestnut, which is a really lovely colour to be honest. Um, it's okay, there's not a lot in there, and if it goes down like the eyebrow pencil did, then that won't be lasting long. But anyway, I'm just gonna go in. Blend that in, I've got the AOA Studio High Def Brush F1 and it's like a high dense, flat dense brush. It's actually really good, feels really good. Um, I'm just going to blend that in with that. Okay, so I've blended all that in and it's gone on really nicely, all blended in really quick, really well. Nothing bad to say about that either. Um, so I guess I'll just go in with the bronzer all over my face now. Oh god, it's so hard to open. I'm really not sure about this colour. Um, but we'll see. I've got, I picked up a F6 brush. They've all like, got that on. It's like a loosely dense, like, I don't even know how to describe that. Oh, I've gone in, I've gone in. Doesn't even have that much fall out when I tap it, but probably is maybe a bit too red for my liking. Um, but it's definitely pigmented. The brush definitely carries it well. So yeah, I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. I'm really excited to use this as I usually use a pomade gel type thing, and it has a spoolie. And this, which I should have like a little mirror, that would help. I might have to use my phone to be honest because if I go right up to the mirror you won't be able to see them. Yeah, and I can't do it in the camera. Push them up. 
I'm scared to use a pencil. Right, right, right. right. Can you see? Oh, I don't know where to go so you can see. Can you see? Yes. Oh, look how long my nails are. I don't know if that cringes some people out because some people hate long nails, but I'm quite proud of them. Rather than having acrylics. Oh, I really can't do this. <laughs> can you see what I'm doing? So I'm just going to underline them. Probably not best if I talk whilst doing this little girl. Right? I'm just going to blend it a bit. I think they'll look better when I've concealed them. Don't we think? But I haven't really done much. All I've done is kind of underline them. And... So I'm loving this. I kind of wish I bought it. Um, so I could keep it. But if Charlotte doesn't like it then hopefully. I can have it. Although to be fair I can literally buy it. Because it's. I can't believe how cheap it is. Charlotte will hopefully be telling you. Or she will be telling you the exact prices. Um, because I obviously don't have a clue because she bought them but I didn't do know she was like it's 8 to 9p makeup and I was like what? Also a good thing about videoing it gives me something to do like, I generally I just look forward to videoing because I'm like oh it's something to do get to have a talk with someone new did they look the same because I can never get my eyebrows the same ok I've done that on a bit wrong I really like this to be honest. I shall be buying this probably along with everything else. If Charlotte doesn't like it, I can have it. To be honest, I can't really see her not liking it. I mean, I can't find any fault with it, but she might. Um, I did get a cute little blush, because I love a blush. Okay, I got the AOA Perfect Studio Blush in the shade Wispy. That's a nice name. The like it's really small and it comes off like this. I do think all their stuff looks a bit cheap, but it is cheap, so what am I on about? Um, it's quite an orangey peachy shade. It's got no shimmer, which I'm glad about because the bronzer did. Um, I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for my bronzer. Don't hate me. Again, like no fallout. I think that's really pretty. It's not too full on. I really like that. I'll definitely use that again. Wow. So the highlight does also look amazing. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. It's like a champagne colour. It's in the shade Lucky. It's called a Velour Highlighter. So I'm just going to get that same blooming highlight brush. It feels thick. Oh, it's a cream. I'm like shook. I can't even get over that. That is amazing. That is amazing. I'm going to see my eyebrows with my brush, obviously, because it's the only brush that I think Charlotte bought are these ones. And obviously, unless I can conceal with these. It's not working. I feel like this. Uh, oh, oh no, I spoke. What I was saying is, I feel like the concealer is a bit too gooey for um, this to be precise. Oh, yeah, I've already gone wrong with the concealer. To be fair, I don't think I needed to conceal them, did I? I feel like I made them worse. Okay, I might just have to leave it like that. Sorry if it looks bad, but... Okay, that one's gone better. Does it look the same? That one's definitely gone better, so I'm just going to leave them before I mess them up anymore. Where's the lid? After every video I do, my lips are so dry. It's quite bad. Oh, um, yeah, stop touching them because I'm going to ruin them more than I already ruined. Um, brow gel. Now, I already looked at this, and the brush... It just doesn't seem like much product comes off. And the brush is really small. Yeah, it just doesn't feel like it's doing anything, to be honest. Or is it? 
feel like it's just a spoolie to be honest, it hasn't really felt like it's done anything. Because you know how sometimes it feels like thick and makes your eyebrows go a bit like, um, not stale, but you can tell there's gel on it. Not just, not, um, God, I can't think of any words, not disappointed with my brows. Next, which I'm so excited for, is a setting powder. Um, it's the AOA Perfect Setting Powder in the shade Translucent, which is what I like. It's good. And there, there she is. Um, I'm going to use my own, in fact no, I'm going to use a beauty blender. All I'm going to do with this, because I don't actually like to look matte under my eyes, I'm just going to shape and sculpt. You can tell it's done its job because you can kind of still see it. And it's created like a lovely smooth. I'm actually like, I love this. Like I don't even hate how my face has turned out. Also, what were you thinking Charlotte? <laughs> You're not putting, I'm not, no, hmm. no. No. Oh no, why'd I do that? Why did I actually do that when I knew I didn't like it? So let's go in with the bronzers. I'm just trying to figure out what everything is to be honest. Eyeshadow primer. I'm not using any eyeshadow. Charlotte might, but that's eyeshadow primer. It's kind of it's that one. I've never used eyeshadow primer. Um so let's go in with the bronzer. That's really nice that it's kind of sparkly. I wonder how pigmented it is. I mean, a lot's kind of. And um, also that um, W7 loose powder bronzer thing that I showed in the well, me and Charlotte both showed in the. Oh, why do I keep forgetting the name? Makeup collection vlog that we both never used. I used it and it was really good. It was literally just like a normal one. Okay. It's a bit messy though, obviously. Um, a little bit on my nose just to kind of, you yeah. um, know, I'll just put a bit on my jaw, I feel like I want to be more bronze to be honest, I love bronzer, I think bronzer can look nice without foundation and anything, that's why I love it so much. If you could only live, if you could only have one makeup item forever, what would it be? really really don't know what mine would be no bronzer i think definitely bron bronzer yeah oh my god that went off Ooh, the brush literally just it's very bronze but i kind of like it you may not but you're entitled to your own opinion um i'm going to use the blusher now I'm quite scared, like I said, because I've never used blusher. I don't know why, I've just never really thought, why do you want red cheeks? But um, if I put a little bit on it, it won't matter, will it? So, using this brush, which is the one Charlotte bought with the um, stuff. Tab oh, stuff on. I'm not going to do any more blusher because I'm just not risking it. But, um, I've got two choices of highlights. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> Because this is blusher. Oh, I wish I saw this because I would have used this. I might put a bit on of it on if I can open it. That may help. So this is another blusher which I thought was a highlight. If I'm being completely honest, and this was the other one, so I might dip it in here and just sound sparkling a bit more. A little bit of sparkle. Um. So now highlight or do I powder first? Now this highlighter looks like a not a liquid but a not a powder. I don't know what you call it. Do you, can you tell what I mean? But we'll give it a we'll give it a whirl. Um, but I think I'm gonna powder first. And again, I'm going to be using the um, beauty blender, which is quite bad because I've used it for three different things. But this looks like it could be very messy. It's very white. I've never really had like a proper white 
powder they've always been like a not a creamy colour maybe a creamy colour go everywhere isn't it it's gonna go everywhere just lightly I always get so scared using this also should I see if it gives you flashback god I used to get that all the time I remember looking like going to I don't know, and just taking a picture, and I just have it literally looked like this. Well, I don't think you can see that I've got that much on. I haven't, um, it's everywhere. I put concealer on my forehead, but I'm just gonna put a bit of, um, to lighten up the centre. Right, I'm gonna take it off because, um, but I'm just gonna, no, I didn't really put a lot on here anyway. And let's see if it gives me flashback. It doesn't give you flashback, but my makeup looks so like yeah, it just doesn't look that nice. But it doesn't give you flashback, so that's a good thing. Okay, so the lip liner is in the shade Vanilla Cone. Um, it's a normal size lip liner. It's not mini. Um, it's from the brand called Celavi. Um, obviously from the same shop, but they've all got like different brands. I think I don't know. Um, so I'm just gonna line my lips with that. Um, it's a, it's a bit orangey, like it's made me look like I've got sore lips. <laughs> Can you see that? Um, don't hate, wouldn't reach for it all the time. That's the description I'll give. Um, the lipstick is from the same brand that the bronzer was from. Uh, it's called Sante Moisturising Lipstick. Okay, you ready to see the issue? This is the issue. <laughs> um, it's like a hot pink, which I know for a fact, if this looked like this on the website, I would not have picked it. But just because it's not a colour I'd go for, I'm not going to judge it by that, but I'm just saying it wouldn't have looked like this on the website. Look, look how nice that just goes on. This is the worst colour I've ever had on my lips in my life. Um, I don't think I ordered this. But to try and save the day, I've got a lip gloss from the AOA Studio in the shade City Girl. Um, this colour looks like something I would go for. It looks a bit like it, the Soap and Glory ones. Oh, okay. It's a uh, thing about. I thought it was going to be like a one of them. Right, so I'm going to try and save this with this. That's more like it. Okay, still pink, but that's more of a colour that I'm happy with. That is a beautiful colour when it first comes out. Let me just... Like, that's a colour I genuinely use. Okay. Highlighter. Yeah, I'm going to use my finger. Yeah, it's, I've kind of put a bit on already. love highlight. If I could sing, oh, I just love it. It'd be a dream come true. Mmm, I like this. So I'm going to use this. Got a little bit under there, I don't know if you can see, I might put a bit more on. Because we love the glow. It's really nice. Do recommend it and I will be buying this. Because I feel like it's even a bit nicer than um, an oil powder. Oh my god, it's made my eye tickle so much. Oh, I think this is a mascara, yeah. Just, yeah. I don't really like thick brushes, but again, I might be surprised. Um, so yeah, I'll do this. I don't know why, but I like thin brush. I used to love thick brushes like this. But, um... going all over my eyelid, can you see? <laughs> it got me. Oh, I really hope I'm not allergic to something because it's really making my eyes itch. God, it's really hurting my eyes. To be fair, I quite like this brush. I think it kind of like dips in the middle, can you see? So it's like, you know what I mean. 
Anything is it's probably my fault, but it's going all over my eyelid. I'm so hot. I do like the mascara, but I feel like just not a lot went on. But I maybe should have, um, I don't know, it's probably something I've done. Again, at least you can get two opinions. I'm going to wait for that to dry and then I can kind of scratch it off. Whilst I do that, I'll move on to the last bit, the lips. The stuff I have for my lips is this. <laughs> That I'm not using that. Is that everything I have? Um, the lip liner and this lip gloss. So I'll probably use these two because I'm not using that. Oh, I like the lipstick. Finally, the lip gloss. Oh, that's you see, this should be what the concealer was like. But I do quite like that. I thought it was gonna be like a squirty thing. Oh, my lips so dry. Mmm. this I wrote, oh my god I'm loving everything I'm so happy um so I suppose that's the makeup aspect done honestly 10 out of 10 I feel like I want to be even more bronze but let's just not see it look nice if they weren't if these pieces didn't exist So, I've done, I haven't got any setting spray or eyelashes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know why I didn't pick them up, but I didn't. But I feel like I've done quite well with the things I've got. And the things that stick out to me the most as like a, is the concealer was amazing. The setting powder seemed lovely. Um, literally was like using the Laura Mercier one. And this cream highlight I am so pleased I genuinely can't like recommend this brand enough but, but thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time